Okay, estimating the mean from a group frequency table. Level 7, grade C. Standard question on statistics at this level. But this builds on the grade D, level 6 question of estimating from a frequency table. And in that one, um, you should have worked out or know that you, you multiply the values by the frequency to get the totals. And hopefully when you add all that up, that's going to make 24. And there's 12 matches, so that should add to 12, which it does. And then the, the, the mean is this total divided by this total, 24 divided by 12. Now, the key thing here is to realize that this table is representing a list of values where you've got one zero, four ones, three twos. If you were given a list of values and you know what, how to work out the mean, you shouldn't get this wrong. But when you put it into a table, it's quite easy to misinterpret the table. Quite often what people will do here is to add these up to get 12, and then divide by the number of groups, which is 5, and then we get some like 2.4 is your answer. Okay, which does actually seem to make sense, but the actual answer is in fact 2. Um, our answer should give us something in the middle when you're working out a mean, and looking at this values, we should be around about this area because this is where most of the things are. So that's a good way of checking if your value is below the lowest value or above the highest value, you've made a mistake, it can't be. Okay, so given that we know how to do that, then working this out is just one extra step, and that extra step is to work out the midpoint because we can't find the mean from this table. We don't know what these values are, we've just got groups of values, so we've got two values in this group. So it could be anything between 130 and 140. So all we can ever do is estimate the mean. So when it says estimate, it doesn't mean guess, it means to use the midpoint. So we would have to work out the midpoints of this. So we've got uh, the midpoint of that between 130, 140, 135, 145, 155, 165, and so on. And there are all the midpoints. Once we have an estimate of the midpoint, we can then do our multiplication, multiply the frequency by the midpoint to get this value. Um, if this is the f and this is the x, this is the fx, sometimes maybe written the other way around xf. So that's those two things times by each other. We do those on the calculator, we would get 270, um, 1740. I've worked these out already. Five four two five six nine three zero eight seven five and seven four zero. Okay, then to find our answer, we need to do the sum of these values, which should be, if I've done it correctly, fifteen thousand nine hundred and eighty, and the number of uh, pupils, which is a hundred, I believe, and we just got to divide those two things. And that would give us our answer, which is 159.8, which does make sense because it's in the middle here somewhere. That's one decimal place as it, the value is given. Um, and this sometimes is written as something like x bar equals the sum of the fx or xf over the sum of the frequency. And that's just these two values. So that is this value, and this is this, the sum of the frequency. This symbol, sigma symbol, means the sum of when you add everything up. Okay, let's have a look at an exam question. Let's see if we can do this one. Just uh, pause the video, have a go, see if you can remember what I've just been talking about. Or you could always rewind and have another look at it. Let's see if you can do this question before I go through it. So pause it now and have a go. Okay, so nicely written out with two spare columns, giving you a hint that you need to do the midpoint and the uh, xf or fx value. So the midpoints are going to be 5, 15, 25, 35. Do be careful when you're doing these to make sure that it's not ch the groups are not changing. Sometimes they have bigger groups or smaller groups. And then we've got to multiply these up. 18 times 5 is going to be 90. 13, 15 is 195. 12, 25, 3, 25, uh, 4, 25 is 100, so that's 300. And that's going to be 245. Let me to add those up to get 830, 
add the frequency up to know how many things you got to divide by and that should add up to 50 because we've got 50 customers and then we're going to do the calculation 830 divided by 50 knock off the zero um, and then well, let's get the calculator for that divided by 5 is like divided by 10 and then doubling so divided by 10 will be 8.3 double should be 16.6 but let's just do it on the calculator and we get 16.6 yeah oops and because it's money we should always write our answer with two decimal places so that's estimating the mean, it's very routine, very standard, it's done the same way every single time. The only thing that might change is the table might be horizontal and not vertical and therefore these two columns would have to go underneath or you could rewrite it out this way, it wouldn't make any difference. So, estimate the mean for a group of things is a nice standard question that you can routinely learn how to do.